Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Viola, part to heaven. Um, so today, I know I promised I was going to do like a challenge video for this week, but I realized Valentine's Day is just two weeks away and I haven't done anything that has to do with Val's Day. Um, so I decided to do a love heart um, column, which is really sellable. Um, yeah, you, you, it's it's a great one to sell. Um, what you would need is a love art frame and, a, and an Ikea stand. Um, for my love art frame, I didn't build this myself, but it's something I could build myself. But because of time, I, I wasn't able to buy the, um, what's it called? The um, aluminium rod. Um, so this alu rod is, um it's um i think this is five millimeters um in width and um the length i i didn't really check the length um but in regards to the width five i bought five millimeters so i could bend it easily and you know shape it into whatever i want to so what you could do is you could get one of this um and then cut it into a size can you see that i'm i can bend it especially um when i find it difficult to bend what i just do is i just get my husband to help me bend it and so what you do is you just shape it into the love art shape you require um but i bought a ready-made love art frame already but i'm just doing this just to show you guys how easy it is to bend this rod um it's easy to bend and shape um you could even if you're finding it difficult to bend you could get a pipe um bender um and then you, you could get a pipe cutter to to like cut it into your desired shape um yeah so you just you see and then you use um cable ties to hold it together so I'm only using this size because this is the size of um, alu rod I have. So just for you to understand how easy it is to build your frames, all you need is aluminium rod. Um, in the UK, you can get aluminium rod from, I think, DIYs, but I got mine from Up Up and Away um, years ago. I'm not sure they still sell them. Um, yeah, upupandaway.co.uk. Um, they are based in Basildon. Yeah, you can buy the sell balloon supplies and all of that. So you could get your alu rod from there. Anyway, so my rod is this is just for you to understand what you could do. And I've got my chair stand here. Um, I've attached this so that I could easily attach my love art frame to it. So I'm going to show you. So what I did was I just I just put the alu rod. In the stand, I pushed it in and then I bent it to the side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cable tie this part to the um, love art shape so that the love art stand can't. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to like take this part. I'm going to tape it first and then I'll use my um, cable tie with it. frame is kind of like heavier than my base so if you're building your frame make sure you have a very strong um column stand and then you have you try and let it match you know the weight of the stuff on top but at the end of the day it's still going to stand because i'm going to put balloons 
at the base so that would make it have something to rest on and it would stand so don't worry you don't really worry about that if you're buying ready-made um love at frame but if you're building your own frame yourself I'm, I'm sure it will be easy like i mentioned building the hat frame yourself it's really easy just buy five mm um with um aluminium rod okay so i'm going to start off building the the bottom now so i've inflated my balloons i'm using raspberry baby pink lilac and gold and um, so this is raspberry by sempertex and um, i've inflated it into eight inches so i'm going to wrap it around the base and then i've got another set of four that i've inflated into six inches 6.5 sorry so I set up the first set now i'm going to wrap 260q round the rest of the base so i'm going to have inflated my 260q already to save us time so what you just do is you inflate it leaving a little bit at the top and then you tie the two together you take another two you tie it together so this is 260 chrome gold so you're going to take the the, the four you're going to push one you push one under the first um, balloon and then bring the one the other one from the other side and it stays like so yeah and then you wrap it round I'm going to bring it Now it's time to fill the um, the love art with um, our five inches balloon. Um, but the plan is to put the five inches this way, and then to do um, a, um, a two sixty q this way. Um, then we'll see how it goes. So first, I'm going to do the two sixty q first. five inches balloon that I've inflated so what I've done is I've inflated them into random sizes and this is um, their um, crystal clear crystal balloons by Sempotex they are clear I really like them they look really nice and fluffy kind of and um, so I've got five inch pink and then five inch raspberry so I'm going to start wrapping that round Don't stop, 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 don't stop
some flowers that I've done I've done some flowers um, if you do not know how to um, do a balloon flower I'm gonna put a link below of a balloon flower video I did so you can see how to do the flowers um, and then I've got this um, love sign um, that I bought um, and I inflated it but it looks like it's going down already so i'm just going to inflate it. it's got like a hole there yeah and so this is the main reason why i picked the colors i picked can you see that the colors match okay this is supposed to be a self-sealing um balloon but i don't know yeah, it's not silly. So flowers on this you can just be creative with this you know the main thing is just to um have the frame and just use the right colors and bam you've got you know something really beautiful um so guys remember to share like subscribe click the notification button and tell me what you think about this video i would love, love to read from you um so also you can get supplies from my amazon store if there's anything you need that you can find in the store, just send me a message and I will sort it out. 
all right then see you guys later bye happy valentine's